Fiona, thank you so much for joining us today. I know a lot of small business owners are busy looking for funds, looking for money, looking for grants. And I know that what you did for Lay Bear. Let's first talk about your business. What is it and um, what industry is it classified under? Mm -hmm. So Lay Bear can be classified as a brick and mortar shop under retail. We can also fall under beauty and wellness and professional services. How has it been? Can you take us through or give us a brief overview of uh, how you navigated this uh, Stimulus Cares Act? First time I heard of the stimulus package and the Cares Act was through Anna Marie and the Chamber in SIPA. I'm also part of um, IFA. So they were on top of everything. I was attending webinars literally like several times a day. It was so hard at first because there were conflicting um, like rules and guidelines. But now, you know, I can explain the <laughs> almost all of it to anyone in need. Maybe viewers that are watching that still haven't applied or at that time they weren't affected and now they are. Maybe they can learn from that. What was your experience like? First, the EIDL and the PPP both come from the SBA. But with the EIDL, you have to apply through the SBA um, website yes. directly. And they actually asked us to apply two times, one for the actual loan, um, which I did around March 18. And then they emailed me March 30 to apply for the advance, which was $10,000 grant or $1,000 per employee. Mm -hmm. So I did apply for that on March 30 and received that advance on April 14. The PPP, on the other hand, I knew about long before it was uh, available too, like a week before. So originally I thought I had to go to like CDC and other uh, you know, non-government agencies and then it became available to banks. So on April 4, I was able to apply through Chase, which is my main bank. Then we lost through the first round because a lot of the you know funds went to the bigger corporations. And then later they said that you can actually submit more than one application. That wasn't stated, you know, the first round. Right. So what I did, and Chase was the one who advised me to actually uh, apply to other um, financial institutions, which I did. Mm -hmm. And they were actually non-banks. I applied three more times, and the fourth application I submitted was the one that got approved mm -hmm. a week later. And it's not just that. I know that you've also applied to some grants. I actually applied to a total of 12 um, loans and grants. Uh, there's a uh, red backpack by uh, Sarah Blakely. There's iPhone women, a Facebook, um, and a few others that, you know, I don't remember right now. And I won um, a webinar contest grant by LISC. I did apply for the real grant for like five or 10,000. I didn't get that, but um, they had a raffle in partnership with Wells Fargo. They gave out 25,000 total. So, um, 10 winners of 2,500 each. I attended the webinar last week and I was one of the winners. Congratulations. Now it seems, it seems like, a, like a tedious process and I know that in this day and age there are rejection after rejection after rejection but you kept going. Um, so what now? Now that you have the funds, now that you have the grants, um, what's next? Because I also keep hearing this word pivot. You pivot. Oh, oh, all right. So some people that are doing, say, for example, manufacturing clothes are now manufacturing masks. Actually, we had to pivot long before we got our PPP. Um, we had plans of selling our, our products online. Um, and, you know, that was in my on my to do list the past three years. And I was pressured to actually come up with a Shopify store which I was able to build in three hours. So we've been selling online for a little over two weeks. And aside from um, Lay Bear retail products, we now sell masks and um, other COVID items like shields, et cetera, because we also sell them in the Philippines. And so we have the supply, we just import them from the Philippines. Um, so that was the biggest pivot we had to do. And now that we have the PPP funds, we're fortunate to be able to keep everyone on payroll. So we never um, laid off anyone and never stopped paying them. So every pay period, we were still able to pay our employees, but not at 100%. But thankfully, with the PPP, we're able to do a retroactive payment. In, and, you know, it was badly needed. Um, I'm always in touch with my employees. We have group chats like every week. 
and a lot of them weren't approved for EBV and, or they haven't received their stimulus check. So it's been really tough and the PPP allowed us to make it easier for them. Laybear, I don't know if we mentioned earlier, is um, uh, how, how do you, so it's wellness, but what exactly do you do? We remove body hair mm -hmm. right. <laughs> at a more affordable price. Right. All natural. And when you say you're selling your products, you're selling these products for hair removal and online plus masks and some PPEs. Yes. Actually, after care products, we don't actually sell the hair removal kits, mm -hmm. but we have a lot of after care products. Exactly. And badly hit, of course, because this is like a salon, like a close contact is needed in order to perform the service. Right. And, and I'm really happy that you got your funding and you got your grant, but message for small business owners like yourself, maybe watching, maybe they've been rejected so many times already. Maybe they don't know where to go, what to do. What would be your message? Mm -hmm. Um, a lot of resources are available online, especially through your chamber. I went to On Deck and it was the last um, application I did. They got back to me in less than 24 hours and they were very thorough with the paperwork. So the first moment they submitted, we got approval right away. Instead of the other banks who didn't really follow up, um, I feel that uh, they were more hands-on. They really cared about us getting funded immediately so i had referred at least you know five business owners and you know if they have questions a lot of people have messaged me i always refer them because they were the quickest to really get back um so it's good to be connected with your local chamber too they're they're really hands-on given this um pandemic so to you were mentioned the first one on deck on deck capital yes right. and it's they still have it online i believe they're still taking applications you just have to submit everything um, on their website and then you get a call right after less than 24 hours and they can give you an approval within um, now it's quicker like within 24 hours they said they can give you approval and then of course get connected and I guess I will add to that which is what you did um, don't give up yes just keep on applying you know that was my <laughs> new job applying for grants and I just actually applied for another round of iPhone um, grants uh, because I didn't get the first one. So just keep on applying. Um, my situation is a little bit different than other small business owners because I've been struggling anyways the past eight years, even before the pandemic. And I've been burdened with really expensive, you know, hard money loans. Mm -hmm. So, and I couldn't get approved by the FDA. So with this uh, leniency, they're more open to lending. Um, I'm actually, you know, getting a break, getting a full fight. That's good. And I like that because I know that it sends a message out there too. It's, it's a little bit in a way trying to turn this negative into something positive for you, correct? It is a break and I was able to focus on other stuff like uh, creating that online store that I never had the time to do. Right. So lockdown has actually been good, more or less overall for the brand. Right. So thank you so much, um, Fiona, and more power to you. Thank you, Janelle.